this virus? You know why I'm asking? I wanted you to meet halfway. We have to meet halfway. Whatever I know and whatever you know, let's work it out together. What's virus? Airdrop? Airdrop? Airdrop. So the air drop like that? Drop left. Drop Air drop. How about you, darling? What is, what do you know about a coronavirus? It's like a respiratory infection. Respiratory infection, like? Pneumonia. Why can it cause pneumonia? Okay, very good. How about you? Nothing. Okay. So the coronavirus usually attacks the respiratory system, right? If I have to give a little pathophysiology or physiology of the respiratory, it goes this way. Air from outside, is that inhalation, right? Air comes in, positive, negative, air comes in. Did you get it? So it goes from the nose, pharynx, Larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and the very important lungs. Did you get me? So if I in the air, I would go nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi. It's so straight, right? So when you like when you inhale, I don't even see anybody like ah, inhale like that because positive, negative controls. Did you get my point? Okay, that is what you call the internal respiration or the external respiration. In short, oxygen is here from the nose to the virus to the virus. Is this important? Yes. Right? You have to know this. Because what if a family comes over? My father has corona. What is that? Oh, uh, it's a virus. What's virus? Uh, it's corona. <laughs> You know what I mean? Right? And then you call the doctor, doctor, patient. Uh, okay. Uh, chest x ray, whatever. Okay, right? You're the nurse, you're the front liners. We are the nurses, we should know it better. So when a family comes in, oh, you know, sir, this is how it is from the nose to the pirate to the larynx to the <laughs> See? Oh, so they're, oh, you're very good, right? So from the nose to the pirate to the larynx, take the broke my brocos, I'll rely on oxygen and gas exchange. Did you get my point? Okay, so oxygen comes in, carbon dioxide goes out. Did you get it? That is what you call external or expiration. So you in oxygen, expire oxygen. Good? Did you get it? Good? Are you with me? Do you understand? Okay, this is just a sufficient physiology. I would include the path later. Did you get it? So the oxygen here, will involve getting out, going into the heart. Right? Pulmonary vein to the heart, to the body. Did you get me? So that is oxygen. Good? Cool? Okay, so oxygen goes to the brain. Oxygen will go to the back and everything. Everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? Oh. Did you get my point? Okay. Now let's go to Corona. See, I cannot explain the whole process of respiration. It will take us three days. You want three days? 72 hours? Of course not. So at least you know the facial, right? So when the patient says, I have asthma. Okay. No sorrows, bronchi. Asthma. Bronchios, bronchitis. Alveoli, emphysema. So those are the parts that is affected. That's the reason why the patient is wheezing because affected is the bronchi. Right? You see. Yeah? Are you with me? Fine? Okay, cool. Did you get me? Okay, cool. Okay. So, uh, any, any question? Any further question? Any violent reaction? We need to go back to that. This is $39. Am I right? So for example, cat has the 
virus, and then I'm talking to her, she doesn't know that she has the virus. Because she will only know that after 14 days. So I got the virus, and then I talk to these people, they have all the viruses. That is how it is transferred. That is the reason why you are advised to stay at home. Did you get me? Instead of uh, 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 trying to put all those, you know, at least at one people only or at one person. Did you get my point? Okay, cool. So this is the virus. It travels into the nose, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, our life. Good? Okay. As I have to go back to the visual, there are two kinds of important cells in the outer line. Two kinds. Dadawa. Two kinds. Are you with me? Good. What are these two cells? Going back to fission. Number one is ciliated cells. Ciliated. These are the way you like. Right? And very good goblet cells. These are all in lungs. Cool. What is the action of the ciliated? They are the wavy branches that push out the bacteria out, right? And what is the action of the goblet? It produces mucus. Once bacteria sets in, you do cut. <coughs> Can you? <laughs> Good. So, are you telling me then that cough is a compensatory mechanism? Yes. It is a defensive. Could you imagine you don't cough? All the bacteria is there. Are you with me? So once bacteria comes in, goblet cell stimulated, mucus form. <coughs> okay. Are you with me? Good? Are you with me? Okay. If goblet is the one that is affected, you will have wet cough. Wet. So when the, the patient says, I have productive cough. And then you would ask, what productive? How is it? How would you know if it's productive? Mm -hmm. How about you? How would you know if it's productive? Oh. When patient cough, oh, that's productive. There's plan, huh? There's plan. Are you with me? But when the patient cough, oh, that's dry. Nothing to speed up. Are you with me? Okay. Now, corona virus will not attach to the goblet cells, it will attach to the ciliated cells. Again, if I am the virus, this is the goblet, this is the cilia, I will not attach to the goblet, I will attach to the cilia. Did you get my point? This is mucus, this is cilia. So it's dry cup. That's the reason why it is dry cup. So when the patient said, I cough very hard, uh-uh, it's the cilia. I have a wet cough, uh-huh, it's the mucus. Cool? Uh, are, you, are you with me? Okay. So if this is the virus, it attacks to the goblet or to the cilia. Good. A wet or dry? Okay? So the virus is here and it's waiting in the cilia. Got? Okay. The problem is, if you have a virus, he's not only the virus. He's not only one. He tries to replicate and do copies of it. So, not only one virus, but many viruses. Did you get it? It's not the real one. It's not the real virus. Are you with me? Okay. Uh, somebody asked me this morning, but we need bacteria in our body. You're right. You are right. But when bacteria of E. coli from here goes here, it's not right. Because this is where E. coli stay. This is where our strep stay. Streptococcus, right? Oh, but if streptococcus goes there, something must be wrong. Is <laughs> that it? Oh, I saw streptococcus in the vagina. Uh-uh. Why? It came from here. It went there. <laughs> something must be wrong. I really? Here went there. Uh uh. Why? <laughs> oh, right? Because this is. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just trying to be real. Are you with me? So when the doctor said, Why is the E. coli from here went here? 
And why is the strap from here went there? <laughs> oh, is that something not, not right? It's not. So, equality should stay there, strap should stay there. Did you get my point? Uh, are you with me? Why? Okay. So once it attacks, so once it attacks Lucilia, do they replicate? Do they make copies? Do the virus just created lots of sons and daughters? Right? Okay. So far so good? Huh? <laughs> so what is affected? The lungs or the brain? Very good. Out of the line? Yeah. Airway? Yeah. Very good. Can I raise this now? Okay. So far? So far? Okay. Somebody asked me, what is affected? There are two systems that is affected. One is the respiratory, number two is the immune system. Who knows anything about the immune system? So what do you What is immune system? It's the system of the immune. <laughs> Somebody asked about that. What is somebody asked about that? What is the immune system? Ah, uh, can you explain? Oh, okay. Just wanted to make a laugh. Are you enjoying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm shifting gears. I'm going to stay here to do lectures. What's this? This is the bone marrow. Bone marrow is found here, sternum, here, and at the back. So when I am hit like accident and this is broken, I will have a problem with my bone marrow. Oh, they, they just wanted to smile together. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. <laughs> 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 so the bone marrow. <laughs> no, I in a bone. Bone marrow. One, two, three. Mama. Okay. Are you with me? Is this, is this the immune system? Body. He went inside my body. 
Auntie Jen and Tai Jen got the same. Right? So, is that a foreign body? Okay, there is what you call the anti-gen, anti-body reaction. It will produce inflammation. Very good example, measles. If you have measles once, do you have another measles? No. If you have chicken pox once, do you have another chicken pox? No. Why? If he is the anti-gen, he goes inside, my antibody will read it. Oh my God, this is measles. So the next time that anti-gen comes in, oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, he already recognized it because he created the memory. That's the reason why you don't have the missiles anymore. Koha, I koha, yes. So what other? Okay, so what does B cells produce? Memory cells and effector cells, right? Okay, is this where the WBC is? RBC is over its own, right? Okay, so the T cell, B cell, T cell. Okay, this is the T cells. This is where coronavirus attacks. I don't care about the B, I care about the T. It's on the immune system. And the T cell is divided into two. T helper cells, right? And the cytokines. Are you with me? Cytokines. So if I am corona, where do I attach? B or T? T. Cytokines, right? Where do I attach? Cytokines. So if I am corona, I will go to cytokines and attach. Did you get my point? And then cytokines would say, oh my god, this is enemy, and produce more and more. So that is what you call cytokine storm. So there are lots of coronavirus over. Did you get it? It uh, depressed the normal cells, and there is more corona storm, uh, coronavirus. Did you get it? Cool? Okay. What did it affect? B cells or T cells? T. Cytokines? Cytokines, cytokines yes. yes. It affects the cytokines, right? Mm -hmm. So when they will ask you, those who are taking the NLX, they will ask you, what cell is being uh, uh, affected by the coronavirus? B or T? T. 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 Is this the cytokines? Yes. Cytokines, cytokines, yes. So this is my cytokine and corona attach. Right? Another corona attach. Another corona attach. So it is what you call cytokine storm. Cool? Okay. Cytokine storm produces more inflammation. More inflammation, more inflammation, more inflammation. That's the reason why the second symptom is fever. Because of the inflammation. Right? First is dry cough. Because of the affection of that. What? Very good. Very good. Did you get it? And the second is the fever because of that? Inflammation. Good? Okay. So if it is inflamed, this is the blood vessels is inflamed, does it get bigger? Of course. When it gets bigger, nowhere to go. That's the reason why fluid goes out of the blood vessel, it goes into the lungs. And that is the end of your life. So once you come in, the patient said, how are you? And she said, <laughs> acute respiratory distress syndrome. Did you get it? Mainly because the fluid from the blood vessels get out of the lungs, it flooded the lungs, and the patient complains of difficulty of breathing. Did you get my point? So when you go to your patient, here's fever. Oh, I'm a corona. My dear, she might not be taking a bath. Right? Oh, don't you just say Corona are sent out. Oh, crazy. Are, are you with me? Okay, so again, T cells is being attacked. Corona attached to cytokines. It produces cytokine storm. It creates inflammation. The more it inflamed, the more water seeps out of the blood vessel. It goes out of the lungs, and the patient will complain of shortness of breath. Koha, and then the patient will have flooding, right? Fluid pulmonary edema. That's the reason, and pneumonia of course, that's the reason why patient dies. They don't die of the corona, they die of the complication. Did you get it? Koha, oh, any question about corona? Did you understand? 
Did you understand, darling? Oh. Where's corona usually? B or T? E. Very good. Does it produce more corona? Yes. Right. That, that's the only issue we have, producing lots of corona. It's an immature. Okay, now, somebody asked me this morning, when will I send the patient home or stay at home or send to the hospital? We, there is what you call triads, right? Triads, triads, triad, triage, whatever. Okay? Okay. Number one. Okay, we're done. Do this. Okay, number one. Triads one. Do you know Alma? Madriada? Yes. Okay. Alma came from the Philippines, right? Now he comes over here. Alma is 30 years old. He's less than 60. He came from the Philippines. There is coronavirus over there. So he might or she might be exposed to corona. Are you with me? So positive exposure. But Alma has no symptoms. Okay? So Alma called me yesterday. Can I come into work? No. You are considered P-U-M. P-U-M means person under monitoring for 14 days. Why? Incubation period of corona is 5 to 7 to 14. Good? Why? I couldn't have any symptom. That's the reason why we are monitoring you. After 14 days, you can come back. The, 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 the bad thing is, after 14 days, that's where the symptoms came out. Which is very unusual. Because the incubation period is 5 to 7 to 14. Did you get me? Okay. How about if I am more less than 60 years old? I have one symptom like fever. Okay, but I am six, I am not 60 years old. Are you with me? Okay. Can I go to the hospital? No. And have my exam. I have fever. I'm trying to see. No, stay. You are considered PUI or person under isolation. So if I am at home and I have fever and I am 26 years old, I would tell my kids, stay away from me. I will be alone in the room. <laughs> Don't ever try to touch me. Okay? And every time you come inside me, wear all those gowns and everything. So it's one specific person will take care of you. Did you get it? So in, right, okay, the PPE. Are you with me? PPE out, PPE in. Okay, now let me ask you, what is PPE? Life -life. Protective. I know. What is the first thing that you have to wear? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> See? I know. Ask somebody. <laughs> How about you? You know what? Mask? Mask? It's the head girl. Right? Well, it's it's the head girl. Oh. $20. Promise. Well, it's brown, it's oh, okay. Yeah. Mask? Really? And then, yeah. then you I'm washing first. Everything follows. <laughs> right? Okay. It's just very important. Yeah. If I had the state, I would go to you. Are you using the PPE? Yes. Okay. Can you explain it to me? I'm busy. That's what you said. I'm busy. Can you come back later? <laughs>
and worship. How many seconds? 20 seconds. To a whole new world. I'm just sing two. Okay. And then HR. Roll. And then mass. And then high goggles. And then close. What can you go out? What's the first? G G G. G G G. Gloves. Gum. Goggles. Mask. Hand washing. Did you get it? Oh, not, you forgot to remove your gun. <laughs> Actually, it's there. Good? Good. Is this important? Yes, ma'am. So if the patient is less than 60 years old, one symptom, ex uh, exposed to coronavirus country, do I have to bring him or her to the hospital? Mm -hmm. No. You would just tell him or her, stay at home. You are considered P-U-I. Okay, we are practicing the principle of equity and justice. What is that? When you bring this patient to the hospital, they will tell you, you are a nurse, you should know that. We are giving more exams to those who need it most. You don't need it. Cool, that is the principle of justice and equity. Did you get it? Just like in the Philippines, they are giving more importance to the politicians. I don't know why you're quiet. That's the reason why. <laughs> Are you with me? Okay, now, if I am more than 60 years old, that's me, I'm 62. Right? I'm 62 years old, so I am on the reading side. Am I right? I am 62 years old, so I am more than 60. Cool? And I have mild symptoms like fever or cough. Do I have to go to the hospital? Yes. Did you get it? Good? Okay. But us, do we have here? No. So are we exposed to? No. We don't have visitors? No. Oh, where is the exposure comes from? Outside. Did you get me? Okay. So every time, me, I must be honest. I have lots of alcohol at home. Every time I come here from the door, close the door, remove all my clothes. I'm naked. <laughs> so I walk at home with a cat. And then my husband will say, Oh my god, she's naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. No, you're the wife. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. That's how it is. We are nurses. Okay? So that is coronavirus. Any question? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It attaches to the B cells or T? T cells. Cytokines? Cytokines. It produces more virus? Yes. There's cytokine storm? Yes. Cause of death is? Inflammation. Inflammation. Okay. Is there a seeking out of the fluid? Yes. Can it cause pulmonary edema? Yes. Pulmonary fibrosis? Yes. Shortness of breath? Yes. Dry cough or wet? Dry. Dry because? Because of cilia. Yes. Is it the goblet or the cilia? Cilia. Very good. Question. Question. <laughs> nothing. Question. <laughs> oh, nothing? Okay. Anything. I know you have fears, promise. I'm kidding aside. I know you have fears. Just ask anything. Don't be ashamed. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. If patient is positive with corona and after COVID-19, mm -hmm. there was no symptoms, the person is not um, contagious anymore? Just remember this, the patient will not know that she is infected. She, she will not know. So if I am positive, I will not know. I talk to her, she will not know. It will only come out after 14 days. But how will I know? I don't even know about it. Well, as long as you're not exposed, as long as your immune system is okay, as long as you don't have the symptoms, you're good. Did you get it? If I have fever and I'm 62, I won't be here tomorrow. Why? I have fever. Did you get it? Because I'm 62. Will I be in the hospital? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> right? Why? I have to stay home. Right? I'm just stay in my room. Eat everything I need. I need pain. So tomorrow, if you want to go, fever. I fever. I'm asking. 
It's unsafe. But why is it not allowed? Since the fever, uh, patient has a fever, right? Mm. Uh, right. Because if I have the inflammation, those are symptoms. You are masking the symptoms. So when I drink ibuprofen, I block the inflammation. The patient is already having acts and whatever, but there is no symptoms because you block it. Did you get it? Okay. Don't block the symptoms. Nobody knew about that. Did you get it? Just like when you have appendicitis. If you have appendicitis, you don't have to give pain medications. Why? You block off the pain. So they will not know that she has pain. It's already peritonitis, they don't even know. Cool? Oh yeah. So you stop the emotion no more. <laughs> and then doctor, she's but still positive. Because the patient still having the urea. Oh, because the patient is confessing. And you have to give it or you have to let it go all the take away all the bacteria. Just take out the bacteria. Okay. And it's so funny because if the patient is seated, she was given antibiotic, and then after 14 days, you already check again the stool. Crazy. When you give the stool still positive, that's for life, man. So the patient will always be positive of CD, believe me. Question? You like this, like this lectures? Like you learn, huh? huh? Next time, diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> then next time, MI. <laughs> because you learn, right? Only respiratory first, or under respiratory. Respiratory, okay. okay. I'm done. <laughs> oh yeah, my next uh, uh, topic will be respiratory system. Why? What's the difference between chronic bronchitis and emphysema? Chronic is big, emphysema is small. Asthma is young, uh, emphysema is the oldest, bronchitis is, you know. Yeah, COPD. No, COPD. It consists of two. That is the bronchitis and the emphysema. If you talk about emphysema, what is affected is the alveoli. If you talk about bronchitis, what is affected is the bronchos. Did you get it? Now, if they ask you, what's the difference between bronchitis and emphysema? All of them are COPD. Okay. Bronchitis people are fat. Emphysema are small. They're thin. Are you thin? Bronchitis has... Ah, emphysema has first lip breathing. So they breathe. Okay? Bronchitis will here. It comes from here. Here. Okay? So when you saw somebody who is big, bronchitis or emphysema? Bronchitis. Uh, bronchitis is 50 to 60 years old. Emphysema is 60 to 80. Well, it's more or stuff as well. Wheezing is young. So if somebody would come to me, I'm 15, I'm wishing asthma. I'm 70, emphysema. God bless you. <laughs> I'm 60, chronic, stop smoking. <laughs> right? I was a smoker for 30 years, believe me. I smoke two packs a day. Every time I do my lectures, and my view is ironic because I'm, I, I'm lecturing respiratory. This is your opinion. Cut! Okay, break, smoking outside. <laughs> and then I'm back again. <laughs> so every time I go up the stairs, <laughs> and then when I came over here, I said that I need to stop. I did. My God, it's so crazy. Stopping smoking for 30 years. I have some psychiatric problem. Like, oh, I'm seeing somebody. <laughs> you know? Yes, ma'am. You're being your CO2? Yeah, that's what I, I, I really did. Like, I wanted to, you know, I'm having like, yeah. yeah. What's, what's, what do you call that? Withdrawal. 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 I'm having withdrawal. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then the, 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 the final test was, every time somebody smokes, I get close to them. I just want to see the, the you know, the discipline. And I'm good. Okay? So far so good? Any question? Before I give the exam, huh? we have exam. Draw the proposition <laughs> and explain. 
Oh, that's the reason why I asked. If you have any question, right? Then you won't be scary anymore. Yeah, you won't be scary anymore. So when, when, okay, this is, this is it. I don't, it's not about the part that is, that matters. It's how you deal with the family, right? So with the family, why am I not allowed to visit? Sir, you came from outside. Your family is immunocompromised. When you come in, we don't even know whom you have been outside. That it's not for you, it's for him. How about the clothes? The clothes is also from outside. Let us do the laundry here. How about the foods? Same way. Anything from outside, not allowed. Did you get it? We all do it here. That is what you call the, the principle of that. So our mantra for today would be, be responsible, be smart, and of course the last is, be kind. Did you have my point? Okay. We are frontliners. Sooner or later, Malin, there would be one here. Malin. I know. Who knows? We have to work together. Did you get that? If you have, I should have. If you die, I'm not we'll make it happen. <laughs>